Hi, welcome to the website of Arco Linux. We have a uh, distribution based on Arch and we have uh, added some AUR packages and our own Arco packages and together we called it Arco Linux. When you visit the website today you will find that we have uh, changed the website considerably and that's because of the new launch of the Arco Linux B ISO. So this is for everybody what is actually Arco Linux, what can it offer you and one of the latest news here is that we have something new. We have some information about the latest release, Arco Linux, and at, in this uh, well, uh, picture I try to explain to you that Arco Linux is actually 90% of Arch Linux packages, 7% AUR and 3% Arco Linux. So mainly if um, Arc Linux dies or anything, you still have 97%. So it will just continue this distribution. Arc Linux is an Arch Linux based distro that uses an Arch Linux as a base, elements from AUR. So 90%, 7%, 3%. There is a nice picture in here in this link. We are a rolling release. It means we're not going to release each six months a new distro with a new name. We update every month and well every day actually but every month we release an ISO where you can then download it if you do a clean install you can do it with a smaller download then because packages in Arch Linux is very normal that you have large amounts of packages if you did not update for a few months. Arc Linux itself has three major projects, so you should be aware of that. We have an Arc Linux ISO, which is what we call simplistic, the big ISO. Arc Linux D is the, the small ISO, so two gigabytes, one gigabyte. And we have now launched the Arc Linux B, and the B stands for build your own ISO. And here it is, one ISO, one ISO, and here we have 10 ISOs. So it depends what you want to choose. First, we explain the Arch Linux ISO, and that's the two gigabyte big one. That's how um, well everything is themed and tweaked, and you get three themes, three um, desktops. So this is XFCE. You can stay on your on the same machine and instantly switch to OpenBox, and later switch to i3 and. And learn about these three desktops in one ISO, in one machine. So when you change your desktop environment, everything stays the same. This video we're making is going to replace the one here. Then we have the second project, which is called Arc Linux D. D stands for choose the desktop. We start with a minimal installation, an ISO that's very small, one gigabyte, but we end up in a black terminal. So if that's not your thing, then wait until it is your thing. So it's always a choice. We leave it up to you where you are in your knowledge of uh, your conquest to learn more about Linux. And at some point in time, maybe you say, oh, I'm gonna try this Arch Linux D. You run some scripts and you can change them, you can edit them, and then you can set up your system yourself. Arch Linux B is our third project and third way to install Arch Linux. And the B stands for build your own ISO. So it means we actually give you our Arch Linux ISO. So here it is. You want to add OpenOffice? Add it. You want to add Steam? Add it. You don't want Firefox? Put a hashtag in front of it. And so on. The end result is that you, after you run a script, you get an ISO, your ISO, your personal ISO, with everything you want and with nothing that you don't want. Basically, we try again to give you a summary, the difference between both of them, or the three of them. So the Arch Linux is the big one, and we get everything themed. Everything works out of the box, it's, it's just a beautiful system. That's the one we're mostly working on. Then we have Arch Linux D, where you say, okay, I end up in a terminal, and I will install a desktop, right? And this one in Arch Linux B, you have to choose all the time. You say, which desktop will I take? Awesome, Plasma, DSPWM, Cinnamon, etc. You choose your application, Firefox, Skimp, Inkscape, Steam, OBS Studio, Conkeys, Themes, etc. And then you build the ISO. You have an ISO you can put on 
um, USB and you boot from it. We try to show that in an infographic to try to explain that these three ways are different. You know, this is all set up. It works out of the box. Here you have to do something with scripting and here you run a script and the result is an ISO. Okay, fine. We are learning. I am learning, you're learning, we're all learning and learning in my case is fun. I like to learn and I like to share the knowledge as you may have seen already on the YouTube to the, the YouTube site, right? So we are cutting these learning uh, curve into phases. Uh, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And this Arch Linux B is actually phase four. We have already an install Arch Linux the Archway, phase five. And this one is still in the pipeline. So you read on and we have a vision, you can read that as well. But basically we're more or less at the end. Now the question is, uh, where can I download? That's here. And you decide what phase you would like to try out. Are you going for phase one, Arch Linux? Then you download here. You can download the big one or the small one. Or if you say, I would like to try this Arch Linux B ISOs, and you click on this one and go to the files here, you'll see that at this point in time, XFC is the winner, 67 downloads, and then Plasma, etc. So all these folders contain an ISO, you burn it on USB or in VirtualBox and you check it out and you have a working system based on Arch Linux with a specific kind of desktop environment. So the standard ones are XFCE, OpenBox and i3 on the big Arch Linux, but in this case all these ISOs contain just one desktop. You make a choice and then you install the ISO. And that's the idea. I guess we give you complete freedom to do, uh, to choose what to install, an Arch Linux, Arch Linux D or an Arch Linux B. You can build it yourself, this Arch Linux B, and the information is here because we need to talk about the where is our information, that's here in the forum, archlinux.com and archlinuxd.com. This one is for the big ISO, so phase one, it says so, don't worry, voila, learning phase one. And articlinuxd.com is learning phase two, three and four, but we have now this launch, so that's why it's all at the top, but it's two, three, four and five. So phase four is build your own ISO, phase three is Linux D, phase five is Arch Linux. And the last addition is our FAQ, Frequent Asked Questions. We put uh, more and more elements to it, but things that are often asked, we'll make a video about it or we put an, an answer here so you can read all about it. Last thing is Arch Linux Editions. Do check it out. It contains, for instance, the information that we are, all the red is Arch Linux packages and AOR is 7, Arco is 3%, so 10% is not Arch Linux, or bottom line, we are 90% Arch Linux. So um, that's about it. I guess you have now an oversight of what Arch Linux is more, or less, uh, more or less is, and of course, check out the other articles on the website. Cheers.